Fresh. What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I want to hear your music. Hey, what's up? This is Wes Grissom from Ancient Sins, and you're watching Local Band Smokeout. All right, what is up, A10? It's your boy BG. And uh, earlier today, I shot uh, something for Beanie at the uh, the Billboard Philippines performance that Beanie did, and there was all kinds of technical problems. And I have since come to find out that there was even more technical problems for SB19. I have not seen or heard this, but let's see how they handled it as uh, being the professionals they are. Hopefully, they uh, you know bounce back and and were able to uh, finish the performance. But uh, yeah. There's apparently a lot of drama surrounding uh, Billboard recently regarding these performances and all the audio issues that went wrong. Please support SB19. Hopefully you guys enjoy this reaction video uh, that I have not seen or heard before. It's a little bit of a long one. Uh, but yeah, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Here we go. Shout out to Tu, tu Kiniki for the footage. So far, so good. I don't see Stell. Oh, there you go. Pablo has, what is Pablo wearing? He's wearing like a dress. This looks like it took him one minute to get to get ready for this. He just threw on a, a woman's dress and then a blazer jacket. They're having serious in-ear issues already. I can, you can tell Pablo has screwed up a bunch and he's taken out his in ear. He's not even really singing in certain spots, but there's definitely audio problems already happening. <laughs> Ken can't even hear. Ken couldn't even hear that that he was supposed to rap right there. He missed his whole part. Stell just swooning us with the high notes of the moment right now. Alright, alright, alright. 
right, there's a lot of stuff going wrong. What is happening? Yo, they straight up just walked off stage because they can't they can't hear. There's something they can't hear where the track is to catch their parts. Yo, you gotta whoever did the sound for this show it needs to be fired. Oh yeah, they're probably backstage screaming at somebody. So what do they just are they just gonna do it all over again? just doing the entire performance again it's interesting Justin's still having problems. I try to follow Pablo the most during these because Pablo's really good at relaying to the sound people like what needs to be fixed. And I, I see him like motioning his hands, like do this, do this, change this, change that. They walked off again? I thought the beanie one was bad. This is a disaster. This is an absolute f disaster. There's no way they come back out and do it a third time. Don't ask me nothing! This is take three. Take three. Pablo's yelling in the background.
see, Pablo's still, he's still motioning that something is wrong, even though this is the third time. Watch him. He's telling somebody, this is still not loud enough. Turn it up. Right here. Justin seems like he can hear it now. Third time's the charm, right? Yeah, we're good now. moving I just don't like Pablo's choice of outfit for this for this uh, performance hold on Justin's doing something also right here he's motioning he's saying he can't hear out of his right in ear And Stell over here, Stell over here is just acting like a G, man. He's acting like there's no problems in the entire world. I haven't seen him complain about anything. He's just holding it down. When there was problems in the initial first performance, he was just, ooh, all in the background, just try to carry it over into the next song while things get fixed in the background. For, for absolute professional. There you go. having the, the live band there too. Ken's still saying that he's having problems. He can't, he still can't hear correctly out of his ear. So still, still audio problems, but they're able to power through at this point. Different version, way different. Parts of the billboard thing keep going out also when they stomp on it in certain spots. This is a, 
This is such a different version of Crimson. Like, I'm not used to hearing this version. By the way, Crimson, we've talked about this a thousand times, but forever waiting for the music video. If I ever, ever, ever have the chance to interview SB19, even just one member, I promise you, a tid that will be one of my questions. Was there ever a plan to have a Crimson music video? See, now they've kind of turned it into a house party. Like, this is their house. Now they're comfortable. Yeah, look, it's all this billboard things like all broken now over here. Oh man, this is a rough one. It was a rough one for the boys this time. Oof, SB19, Billboard, Philippines, disaster. Reaction going down right now. Now again, uh, it's probably not the band's fault. Uh, we Earlier we watched the Beanie one where they had some technical issues. Uh, theirs lasted like 10, 15 seconds and then it was fixed. This was a disaster. Whoever is running the sound for this should be absolutely fired. I understand why they were so pissed and walked off twice. Two, the technical issues out of control. They couldn't hear anything. Uh, Ken missing parts. Pablo couldn't hear anything. He's missing parts. What the f is Pablo wearing? Uh, just an unusual performance. But they were able to get through it by the third, the third part. I thought it was interesting that Stell doesn't show any signs of of he's having issues. He just powers through the entire thing like a professional. They all are professionals. I'm not saying that they aren't, but it's just interesting to watch each one handle it individually. Uh, I mean, I can't really give a good score on this. I suppose for the first time ever, we're gonna have to go in the eights for, for SV19. I'm gonna go 8.7. It's not their fault. I don't think 8.7 though. And, and, it's, it's one of those things, like, how do you learn from this? So I'm, I'm guessing that the main issue was the in-ear sound was too low or not there at all for the first part where they came out. Uh, and then the second time when they came out, it just wasn't loud enough or something was going wrong. But uh, you got to learn from it and figure out how to make sure this doesn't happen again and to to tackle the next problem because there's there's always technical things that come up with performances for artists it's just how do you learn from it how do you make sure it doesn't happen again how do you do better how do you power through all of these things um not sb19's fault i don't think it's billboard's fault fire somebody please support sb19 any way you guys can and if you ended up enjoying this reaction video please consider clicking the subscribe button to this channel as we uh have quite a lot of reactions for sb19 now i think like 260 something 200 maybe that's not right but we got a lot we got a lot i know that um it feels like it's somewhere around like 200 though but uh yeah if you need merch for your shows here in the states you're playing shows go to mymerchguy.com use code lbs420 for a nice discount and if you ever need midi drum tracks for your recording session or daw system go to drummidi.com also use code lbs420 just make sure that code's in all caps over there so you get the 20 percent off at checkout other than that though guys i am your host bg saying cheers Keep blazing in peace. I'll see you next time.